for over 50 years and um, I got I, I started out at Loyola University in uh, Chicago and then I got my master's degree at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago and once I did that um, many things opened up for me because I was then able to teach, and so I taught at Columbia College in Chicago for 25 years. And during that period, I didn't do an enormous amount of art. I mean, I did a lot of teaching. So I really started doing my arts very seriously around, um, oh gosh, uh, around the late 80s. And I've been continuing ever since. So there is a thread of something that does go through my art. One of the things is uh, collage. And um, the way I start is to uh, make a collage and then paint. So, and sometimes I work the opposite way, where I paint and then I do like collage on top of it. But uh, I'm not gonna answer my phone or whoever. Um, anyway, um, so I've been, I've been steadily working and I've been in a lot of shows. Um, uh, the, uh, probably the best thing down here in Florida is that I got into uh, the Mo Boca Museum um, art show, the All Florida Art Show this year, and that was extremely good for me. It just gave me a real boost, so I was able to keep on going with my with my stuff. Okay. And um, anyway, whatever you see here is in the works. Uh, this is this is still in the works. But when you mentioned that you're working with uh, tissue paper, well, I am too, and. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a lot, and then I'm covering it over, and then I'm painting, and uh, anyway, I would, this is definitely in the works, but I'll show you some uh, pieces that I've done that are, are finished uh, recently. This one is almost done, and uh, that is also acrylic and collage. And I'm gonna go over this way, Jan, and show some of my new works that are finished. So, uh, sorry, here's my back. But um, this is one little piece that I did that is finished. And, uh, and I was real pleased with this one, you know, that it, uh, it works. Yeah, there is. It sure does. <laughs> I mean, a lot of big struggle, but I've been able to, uh, you know, do whatever. So that one's finished. This one is finished, too. And I'll just kind of raise it up so that you can see. Ooh, this is um, collage and also paint. Does it have a name? Um, no. <laughs> if you can suggest a name, that would be good. But I am finished. Thank God. I mean, it, it's just been really rough on me um, right at the like present. A carousel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Carousel. Mm -hmm. Mary Carousel. Yeah, yeah. Some sort of a carousel yeah. or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, I think that the point is that 
I was working for a very long time on um, these two books that are here. And that's all manipulated uh, from the computer. And it kind of ruined me for, for actually uh, handling paint. Wow. So because it's so fast to work on the computer once you know what you're doing, <clears throat> that um, just being able to do that as fast as possible, and whereas this is like slow <laughs> and hard, very, very hard for me anyway. So that's this is one that's done. And if you want to look at the uh, uh, the books, um, there are some very successful, I think, um, uh, illustrations that I've done. I've done in all, there's 80 illustrations that are in the book, 40 on one and 40 on the other. Um, and some of them I was not that pleased with, but, you know, I do the best you can. Fern? Yes. I want to mention that these books are for sale and available yes. for purchase at 800 Park Avenue at Arden Park. Yes, they are. Thank you. Yes, they are. Um, What's this piece right behind you there? This one? Yeah. Well, this was a whole series. I did five of them. And this is one, and there's one in the living room, and there's one in my studio, not my studio, but in my storage, and then one was salt. So, what do you call them? I'm sorry. What do you call them? Uh, Adam and Eve, uh -huh. and uh, and also I think um, they have to do. They're also called in the beginning, and so there were actually four of them. One was called in the beginning. There was music. In the beginning, there was dance. In the beginning, there was Adam and Eve. This whole series that I did. When you're creating, what would you say is your single biggest source of inspiration? Reading and poetry. Yes. That would be, I would think, the biggest source. Because then I start thinking about something, you know. Yeah, I would say that. So, anyway. This is another one that's finished, and uh, this was also a huge struggle. Uh, and it, um, Why don't you rest it right on the table there? Yeah, I could. So this is also what I've been what I've been doing with lots and lots and lots of collage and then lots of paint, and then painting out, and then going back with collage and um, doing stuff. So uh, anyway, that's what I was, I've been working on, <laughs> peeking through. Uh, and this one is, that one's done. And then the last one is the one that I'm going to send to, um, there's a show that's coming up, and this one is finished too. And it's again, it's collage and paint, and I'm fooling around with borders. So that's what I'm doing there. But this one is also it's completed, and I like the idea of the borders. Yes, I'm. I'm trying. That's exciting. Well, it's exciting for me if I can if I can pull it off, you know. It's like looking through a window. So where do you get your collage pieces? Um, I've been getting them from magazines, and then I use the photocopier, and oh. uh, a lot of times I just paint stuff and then use it. Like that one there behind you, that's all uh, hand, you know, paint that I've used and then cut up. And cut it up. Yeah. You cut up your painting thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that was also a whole big series. Um, and I Aaron, think can you tell us about that 
the pe the smaller piece to your to your right? This one. Yes. Um, this one is it's practically done. Uh, I started this one where I uh, uh, I did um, a painting first, and then of course it's been wiped out, and then I put the collage in, and then I put the the paint on, and then I put more collage. And then I took off <laughs> because <laughs> it's very important to not have too much stuff in one uh, in one painting, you know. The color is striking. Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. good. I, you know, I, I've been looking at these things for so long that um, I'm not sure anymore <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, I'm too close. I'm too You've close arrived yet. then. They always yeah. say that the artist knows when to stop. Uh, I always I've always heard that. I you know when to stop. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I don't think you're never finished. Even the, even never this finished. morning I took out some pieces that I had oh, in yeah. there and I said, No, that you've got to take that out. So, you know, it's just it's sort of an ongoing I'm, in I'm very close with another artist who never knows when she's finished. Oh, no. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, oh, that's part of being the artist. You know when you're finished. You know when to stop. I guess you're finished when somebody buys it and takes it away from you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, my record is not too good as far as selling, but that's all right. Oh, oh, the rest of us are selling like yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some more of your work into the gallery. Yeah, eventually I'll get to that. You know, right now I'm working on different shows, trying to get in and send them. We're stuff. different. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. Do you have anything on exhibit anywhere right now? Yeah. Tell us about it. I'm, uh, the, the best coup is that I got into the Boca Museum of, uh, all of Modern Art, the All Florida. Yeah. That's good. So, how long is that show going to be up? This week? Until so. July 14th. Yeah. Oh, just this weekend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that was a real coup because, uh, as you all know, it's, uh, I mean, I've tried every year. And it just has never happened. So I was happy to have it happen to me when I needed it. Yeah. You know, I That's needed beautiful. a boost. Yeah. How many so. pieces of yours are there? How many one. pieces? That's one. Yeah. And I was happy to have one. Mm -hmm. You know, that was for sure. But um, anyway, that uh, that was real good. So. Well, yeah, thank you very questions. much for for showing us your work and explaining your process. And yes, are there any other questions? Any questions on collage, paint? Well, while you're talking about ripping the, taking pieces off, do you just rip it off? Yeah. You don't have any <laughs> yeah. stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picture you with a magnifying glass and tweezers. Are you here? No, I'm not, <laughs> not at all. No, I mean, I am a very physical artist that works very fast. And uh, I just decide, no, that is that is the wrong spot. And then I cover it over with acrylic. Are you using yeah. acrylic medium to adhere the pieces? To the I'm hand? using wallpaper paste. Oh. And oh. I'm also using uh, matte medium, golden matte medium. Mm -hmm. Uh, none of these pieces are, uh, it's very difficult. I mean, I have a hard time because Florida is so uh, damp. So then I put bricks on top and, uh, you know, to hold everything down. And um, I mean, I, I try my best to get it down there. But I realize that in my work, I am not a careful person. I mean, there are people that they just... They do collages. You don't even know that they're doing them. That's how good they are. I don't. That's not the way my work is. It's much rougher, you know. So I just do as much as I can to get it down so it doesn't come off. 
So are, are these mostly on canvas or are it's they on board? On it's all on canvas. Yeah, it's all on canvas. So you don't do anything on boards, wood, wood boards or anything like well, that? Well, I have. You have? Yeah. And I've done paper, you know. Mm -hmm. But now I decided that I think I like just having the canvases and I'm going to um, color the borders. You know, the, the edges, mm -hmm. yeah. the borders. So you Color. don't frame it, you just can paint the edge. I'm uh, just painting the edges. Question, did you ever use pastel papers? Do I have pastel papers? You know, instead of the tissue paper, use pastel paper, thin, you know, like, it's uh, it's like lace, lace papers. Uh, it's called lace papers oh. with designs <laughs> Yeah. instead of tissues. Yes, I know what you're saying. And because you could really get some things that you don't get with a tissue paper. Well, can you get it at Jerry's? No. <laughs> oh. So where do you get it? Blicks. Or oh, Blicks, okay. okay. But you, 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 uh, you, you ask for pastel paper and they have different designs and they're oh. terrific and they blend. Because when you, I still believe in the gold, the good Elmer's glue, that's the best that's ever made, exactly right. and they blend the paper actually disappear, but you still see little, little, little it stone. is wonderful. It's yeah. magical. I, I will definitely try. Believe me, yeah. 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 That's good. I've tried it. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this one is in the works, and it's just been in the works now for <laughs> weeks. Um, of uh, Weeks of trying to do something with it and not quite getting it yet. I'm working.